Okay, so first things first, title your creation. Second thing second, choose your FPS. I go for 15 frames per second. You can go lower or higher if you want to. Now you start off by drawing Gumball's general head shape. Don't worry about making it perfect because it's only the animatic, not the final product. Okay, so after you're done drawing his head shape, you want to draw his body. His body shape is just two lines like this and a half circle at the bottom for the thighs. Now why he has thighs like this at 12 years old, I don't know bro. Now, the arms usually are easy to draw, but since they're on his side instead of being down by his waist, it's hard to tell whether or not his arms should be sharpened or rounded. So I recommend using references for this whole tutorial. But don't feel bad if you have the traits, okay? Trust me bro, we've all been there. And now you copy and paste this part to the other side because Gumball is a very symmetrical show when it comes to the art style. Erase the little leftovers and then boom, there you go. You finish your first keyframe. Keyframe one of five, by the way. I'm gonna do like four actions. He stands normally, he looks back, he gets scared, he falls backwards. So you can either do this or do your own animation, I guess. So for the rest of the keyframes, I just kind of just copy and paste the main frame and alter it a little bit to the side. Make his eyes shift backwards, make him duck down, I guess, and make him get square, get scared and erect. Now this stuff is relatively easy, so I'm just gonna speed past it. But I'll slow down for this part, because this is where I do the expression. So for the expression, I make his face, I shift it up to the top a little bit, so I have more room for his mouth to open wider. I add some eye bags, I make his eyes people smaller, I make his eyebrows scared and down instead so of being up and happy. And boom, there you go, your first expression is done. Since he's scared, he has to have his body elongated and erected. And there you go, your first keyframes are done. Now it's time to move on to the part 3, the in-betweening. I did skip through a lot of stuff because I feel like it was kind of redundant to go through it because it's all just drawing gumball basically in your own style. So like, maybe one day I could like do a live stream maybe. Could be cool, could be cool bro, could be cool. In between it right, it's kind of like the same thing, it's just taking the, the keyframe, copying and pasting it to the next frame and then making them have a certain like small movement, like for example this frame here, like this basically. There's no script by the way, so that's why I'm like stuttering a lot and I mean like I'm, I'm doing uh. Okay, so he's bending down in his frame which means that he has to have his body bend down too in a curve Unlike his arms Do it exactly like this A little bit rounder though Might have made it a little bit too far back here a little bit I think Now you bend his legs down too The legs are gonna be a pointy bend, not a round bend Unlike his body, after you're done with that, you copy and paste it to the other side too, just like his arms to make it look more symmetrical. Alter it if you need to. Do that exact thing for the next few frames and then... Now it's time for the fun part! It's time to make this animatic look like Gumball. So you start by getting your Gumball PNG and pasting it into the frame. And since you're using Flip Clip, you're going to have to redraw the picture. Because in this app, when you rotate an object that you select with the lasso tool, it gets blurry. And I don't know why, but it just does. Gumball is a very smooth line art show, so go to your settings, go to your Draw Engine 2, and turn it on. What this does is that it gives you an option to have a stabilizer. Then turn it on to at least 20%. Now you trace your line art. Wait, 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 wait. You trace? F you, nigga. Yes, in order to have the most realistic looking gumball animation, you're gonna have to trace. I'm sorry, eh? I don't, I don't make the rules, bro. So now you trace over your frames with your line arts. But be sure to like tweak the frames so that they fit the gumball proportions because if you don't it will end up looking like this and you don't want this try and keep the line art size as close as possible to the actual clip art that you used 
And obviously make sure to keep that liner size consistent throughout the entire animation. And you don't have to trace exactly over your uh, keyframes, I guess, because if you do, then it might not look proper. Oh yeah, so one thing that I do when I have my liner finished and uncolored is that I copy and paste it like five or six times over the um, the original line art so that it gets darker. Alright, you color it in and all of that, and then boom, it's done. Your, your first frame is completed. The legs do look a little weird here, so I did move them to the side. But other than that, this looks exactly like Gumba though, right? And now for the eyes. For the eyes, right? Gumba eyes look like this usually, but for me personally, what I do is that I do it like that. I stretch them out, I paste them back, and then boom, look at that. There's more expression, and now one pupil. Like, look at that, bro. It looks way better than the regular two little dots. And before y'all get on my ass saying that, it looks fake. Season 2 did this exact same thing, so don't at me, bro. And now, you do the same exact thing here, and for this frame as well, and blah blah blah. Remove that, because it's useless, and then there you go. Look at that, your first few frames are already completed. Now you have like six more to go. Also, as a quick time saver, just copy and paste the head to the next frame. You don't have to retry it every single time. Be sure to keep the stabilizer on and draw the frames as cleanly as you can, bro. The cleaner, the better. By the way, for the eyes when they're closed, just take the eyebrow size of the line art and just draw the, the bottom of the eyes. That's literally it. Okay, so for the expression, I do the exact same thing I did for the, the sketch layer. By the way, so you know how you have those annoying like white lines when you color in something? Just select it, copy paste it like 8 times and it goes away. Wow, look at that, you're almost done. Speed run time! And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, you have your gumball animation completed. And now, you add a background, and then you're good to go. Now usually, I'd add lighting and shading, but that's a lot of work, and uh, yeah, sorry guys. Hey, thanks for sticking through to the end of the video. I did not expect my last two videos to do so well, especially my Spongebob Sings the American Dad intro. So much so, to the point that I have 9.1k subscribers now. Like, damn bro, I had like 5k before I posted that video, but now I got 9? Like, damn bro, but I appreciate y'all for watching the, my videos bro. Like, I really did not expect my channel to grow this big, especially not back when I started it. Like in 2017 talking about kids choice awards like who the fuck wants to watch those type of videos literally nobody and like i said before i'm pretty sure i did skip a lot of like you know important parts of the animation or not really important but more so tedious parts that you guys might want to see i don't really think i want to upload a, like an hour long channel or an hour long video on my channel like that doesn't really make sense especially not for a channel that's already like breaking a rule on my channel guidelines like not making animation videos making a uh fucking a voiceover like who wants to hear this and yeah to be honest i did think this video was kind of more humor than teaching but you know i could obviously do a live stream or a longer video of some sorts of me animating gumball to like its full extent like showing the whole process not like snippets of it you know but um with that being said i'm out of here guys i gotta go to bed tomorrow or right now i got school tomorrow and i think i should be back next month with my spider-verse video i think i hope so at least because god damn that video is taking a toll on my life bro so yeah see y'all then bro peace